Bulavinaka, my name is Letia and I'm from the beautiful island of Laos and I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. My name is Casey, I'm from Tabua. We love Today FM in Tabua. Today FM rocks. My name is Selena, I'm from Tauvenga Vengamba. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Hola, my name is Carlo. I love listening to the music in Today FM in Malak Ellen. Today FM rock. Today's hit music. In the news tonight, Fiji beats Japan in first pool match. LTA reports a decrease in overloading. And an electronic shop found selling modified pin plugs. From the studios of FBC Suva, Amrita Sagar. Fiji defeated Japan 45 points to 12 in its first pool match in the Singapore Sevens this afternoon. Fiji's first try came from Sevuloni Modenadangi, followed by Paula Dronisinikula and Alosio Nanduva. Fiji led 21-0 at halftime. They go, Mossin and Jassi puts the legs down! He wants to give the ball away and then says, no, I'll take it to the corner! What a dive, what a first try! Ronny Sinekula drops the shoulder and the hammer goes for the line. It'll be try number two. All of Ronny Sinekula. Locked it on, so Nanduva picks this up. The counter attack. It's open as you like. Alessio Nanduva gets the score for Fiji. Number three. Now on the field. Sal bumps through the first tackle and goes up the middle. A runny Sal will not be caught. Well, he leads Fiji in tries and adds another to his total. 26-12. Kick and he's lost at one. And two wide has a crack down that side. There's nobody at home. Jerry, two wide. Shrieks in. And the Maestro gets another score for Fiji. Sal. Sal beats one. Hands off the second, and Ronnie Sal will get a double in this game. He cannot be stopped. The Fijian Elections Office has disclosed its 50 days writ to return of writ plan to the political parties during their briefing yesterday. Supervisor Mohammed Sanim says it's an effort to give political parties an advance notice of the dates and time for the observation of the upcoming general elections. Sanim says while they focus on political parties, they should not also forget the need to engage its registered election officials to be familiar with the manuals prior to the elections. About 5,681 election officials have signed their contract to partake in the upcoming general election, whereas 3,547 have yet to sign theirs. Sanim says it's vital for them to keep up to date on the election officials' recruitment program. This is a very important uh, program in light of the fact that an election can be announced uh, uh, by uh, at any point in time and therefore uh, we would like to maintain that link and partnership with our election officials as we uh, progress towards uh, finding out the election date. The Land Transport Authority says that people are now complying with the rules when it comes to overloading. This is after the authority issued less infringement notices to vehicles so far when compared to the same period last year. Anna Ravulo reports. A total of 116 infringement notices have been issued to vehicles so far and this is a decrease. A total of 116 traffic infringements notices issued. It must also be notified that noted that this is an overall decrease from the same period last year which had 172 teams recorded. Fiji Rose Authority has also been working closely with LTA in regards to this issue. It's always a challenge. We, uh, we're working closely with LTA to um, make sure it's managed properly. We've got, we're helping them with the um, uh, Weybridge areas and uh, supporting what they're doing. So yeah, we're trying to get it under control and maintain it under control as well. Meanwhile, LTA had issued over 200 infringement notices to vehicles, amounting to fines more than $1 million last year. Anna Ravulo. FBC News. The Consumer Council of Fiji is warning traders to refrain from selling modified pin plugs to consumers. A complaint was received against the modification of two pin plugs sold by an electronic store in Suva, whereby the front ends were twisted. Council Chief Executive Premila Kumar says upon inspection, the trader was informed to remove and stop the sale of such dangerous electrical products. So there is an urgent need not only to educate the traders, but also to educate 
the consumers, even if that product is sold, simply just don't buy that. Over 2,000 Fijians have attended the various exhibitions set up at the Fiji National Provident Fund Retirement Expo in Suva during this week. Fund General Manager, Member Services Alipate Wangairawai says this expo has not only provided an opportunity for retirees to suss out retirement options, but also to be educated on financial literacy. Rachel Nath was at the FNPF Boulevard for the closing of the expo today and filed this report. The purpose of the six-day retirement expo is to ensure Fijians are well aware of their options when they decide to retire. Aware of the various forms of investments out there, whether owning a share, buying a share, unit trust, or an insurance policy, or for FNPF, how can they increase the additional contributions? Those that are wanting to start a small business, they can inquire from the Fiji Development Bank. Those that want to start up a small farm, agriculture department is here also. The positive response from Fijians prompted the superannuation to extend the expo by a day. Retirement planning is important for everyone. And the best time to start is early. Doing some sort of financial literacy advice to, to the senior citizens, what, how they can put their funds for retirement to plan or even for business, uh, business set up later on for them to some sort of income generating for them. The superannuation says retirement is a certainty, hence it is vital to plan for the future. In order to ensure no Fijians are left out, the FNPF will soon conduct a retirement expo in the western and northern divisions. Rachel Nath, FBC News. As part of their corporate social responsibility, the Fijian Competition and Consumer Commission staff handed out relief assistance packages to flood victims this week. Joel Abraham says the staff members had collectively contributed and purchased basic food items and hygiene items as well, included in the giveaway packages. He says as Prime Minister Varenga Mainimarama had recently called on all Fijians to assist the people affected by the recent floods in the West, FCCC also felt obliged to assist those less fortunate. We want to send a very clear message that we are not only uh, there to protect your interests, but in the time of need, when people need us, we'll be there to help them on the ground as well. Coming up in Sports South Africa defeats Samoa in first pool game. NFRU aims to include women's team in the under-20 Skipper Cup competition. Stay with us. Bula, Kero my Sinatoka, Kero and Dotali Takanavaro Rong on the Radio Fiji One and Domoy Viti. I have an initiation with Bola, Dotali Takana Radio Fiji One and Domoy Viti. We have a silly talent, Nagura my no money, Nandora. We do tell it again to Venezuela with Nabudu Rong, Barro and Radio Fiji One and Domoy Viti. The Radio Fiji One and Domoy Viti in Bonga and BNN. South African side has made its winning start after beating Samoa 26 points to 5 in their pool games at the Singapore Sevens. And here are the highlights. Cock on that right hand side. Cock beats one, steps back inside. Werner Cock for the line. His legs will get him home. First one in midfield. Zane Davids looking for a line. They go over the top to Soyes Wafi. It's the line from Davids that drew them. Maliko and now Africa on the turnover ball. Spot space out wide. Little goose, stutter step, going for the line. The Fiji Rugby Union today held its 2017 annual general meeting at Suvastanu International Hotel. Chief Executive John O'Connor says one of their main aim is to develop the sport in the women's category into another level. This was after the inclusion of women in the Skipper Cup competition for the first time. O'Connor adds once this is in place, the women's teams can be given contracts. No, no, not women for the time being. Uh, in terms of women, the plan is to start with the provincial tennis uh, competition now, the top units of uh, women's of tennis. Uh, next year we plan to introduce the full 15 games for these uh, eight teams. And then the 16 uh, one more teams will have to fill 10 teams. 2020, we want the fully fledged uh, 15 women's competition. We're also looking at uh, introducing under 20 
competition to create pathways for women. The Suva Soccer side defied all odds to upset Lombasa 3-0 on their home ground at Subral Park in Lombasa last night. With the victory, Suva now moves up in the Vodafone Premier League standings. Luciana Tangidakimbao with the story. The Bamba Singh Alliance showed a glimpse of brilliance in the first half last night, but was unfortunate as Suva's defence was too good for them. Yeah, we felt great um, getting the three points against Lampasa. Again, a tough team, uh, as we know. Uh, really, I mean, the guys they showed everything they, they got on the field and uh, preparation-wise, was we did well. In the second half, both teams were locked at nil all until the capital city side made amends, scoring the first goal through Sahil Dev and Tivita Waranivalu. Yeah, I had to take some risk, uh, you know, to get get some goals or create chances, so I had to do that. Um, so it paid off and we got the three goals at the end. So the third goal came from Setereki Naisua. I mean, today with a plan, uh, we wanted a maximum point and the boys stuck to the game plan right to the end and the uh, result uh, came out uh, in the end. Suva now moves up from 5th to 4th place in the VPL standings, while Lambasa is still 2nd with 9 points. Luciana Tangitakimbao, FBC Sports. The Junior Wallabies thrashed the Fiji Airways under-20 side 55 points to 5 in the Oceania Rugby Championship last night. The Hurricanes has moved to the top of the Super Rugby standings after beating the Sun Wolves 43 points to 15 last night. Inside centre Vince Asso was in impressive form as he scored two tries to help the Hurricanes claim the much-needed victory. Fiji born William Mekikans Penrith Panthers defeated Fiji Bathi's Marcelo Montoya Bulldogs 22 points to 14 in the NRL match last night. Panthers James Maloney guided the side in a fiery star, a state of origin audition under the watchful eye of New South Wales coach Brad Fittler. Here are the highlights. Cloudy periods today with some showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Elsewhere, it was fine apart from isolated afternoon or evening showers and thunderstorms. Looking at the west, clouds giving way to some sun during the day and temperature hitting 31 degrees in all areas. And moving from eastwards to Pacific Harbour to Suva, a humid day with a little rain late this morning followed by a thunderstorm in spots this afternoon. And up north, more clouds than sun. Temperatures varied in different areas. At sea, east to northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, moderate to rough seas, moderate southeast swells. For the tides, the next high tide is at 11.42 p.m. with low tide at 5.33 tomorrow morning. Sunrise will be at 6.22. For tomorrow, cloudy periods with some showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands. Elsewhere, fine apart from isolated afternoon or evening showers and thunderstorms. Recapping the main stories, Fiji beats Japan in first pool match. LTA reports a decrease in overloading and electronic shop found selling modified pin plugs. Now for these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. Drop Paul question. This week we're asking, do you think more should be invested to develop athletes to meet international standards? Visit our FBC website to answer. You can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email fbcnews at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via our Facebook page FBC News or you can also follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. And that was your FBC News for tonight. Until next time, good night. I am Pramila Vairuku Reki Reki Se. Subha Meri Aak Khunti Hai, Toh Mai Mirchi FM Sunti Hu. Mirchi FM is number one. It's so hot. We have to listen to the carrier driver of the bar town. We have to listen to Mirchi FM. Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, I am Sandhya Narya Refugi Se. My friends are listening to Mirchi FM. Mirchi FM is hot. I love Mirchi FM. We have to listen to the best song of Mirchi FM. Mirchi FM is hot.